Brussels is a center of power. Here, decisions that affect us all are taken every single day by EU institutions and national governments. That is why thousands of lobbyists work here with one aim, to influence European legislation so it works for them and their clients. So, how can you get your message through? How can you make sure that Brussels works for you? Well, here are four steps for becoming the perfect lobbyist. Let's take, for example, the fight over cleaner cars. To get what you want from Brussels, first you need people on the ground. That is why, for every EU parliamentarian, there are roughly six lobbyists. You also need allies and money. A lot of money. Make sure you have good contacts. Very good contacts. What, what happened around the real world driving emissions issue is that Germany lobbied France and the UK uh, to support a weakening uh, of those limits. And then the three governments uh, went to the head of the European Commission and insisted that a deal was struck um, at, at a technical meeting, the Technical Committee on Motor Vehicles, and President Juncker instructed his team to ensure that that happened. Uh, and that was why the, the regulation was, was weakened in the way that it was. Be everywhere. Participate in as many expert groups and technical meetings as you can. And if you gain their trust, they will do whatever you tell them to in every little detail. Don't be shy, just write the laws for them. Finally, you have to know your enemies and try to keep them silent. Ja, wir stellen fest, dass wenn wir uns mit der Automobilindustrie äh, anlegen, dass wir in knallharter Weise bedroht werden. Man ähm, te teilt uns mit, dass jedes unserer Worte äh, geprüft wird. Wir müssen Pressekonferenzen mit unseren Anwälten machen. Es erscheinen bis zu fünf, sechs Juristen pro Presse, äh, von der Autoindustrie äh, bei einer Pressekonferenz. If you follow these four steps, like the car lobby did on emissions, you can make sure that people and planet don't get in the way of your profits.